mm -hmm. uh, and kind of get their thoughts and stories together, we are starting to understand more about what it's like to go through it. Now, there is a lot of information and unfortunately misinformation on the coronavirus right now. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here this evening with the Trust Index on something you may have heard about blood type and susceptibility to the coronavirus. All right, Doc, clear things up for us. Well, here's the deal. The story circulating about blood types and COVID-19 risk is a perfect example of so many things that are an issue with the overwhelming amount and flow of information that we're dealing with. This does, in fact, come from a real research paper, but it was pulled from a website that made it available before it went through any scientific review. The headline being circulated is that blood type A makes you more susceptible to coronavirus. First, let's look at the source. The paper is from a pre-publication website, which means it hasn't been fully peer-reviewed, vetted, or published in a medical journal, making the information very preliminary. Next, let's look at the actual data in the paper. The subjects were people admitted to three hospitals with COVID-19 in China. That's important because if the data is true, it only applies to COVID-19 patients who require admission, and it doesn't say anything about your chances of generally becoming infected regardless of your blood type. Now, finally, let's look at the actual conclusion. There were a higher proportion of admitted individuals with type A blood than other blood types. They also found a lower proportion of admitted people with type O blood. Now, does that really mean you are at some special risk if you are type A compared to type O and you should be more careful? No, it doesn't. This study cannot be used to draw that type of conclusion. Be careful on the trust index. This is unpublished information that has no application to people at this point. It is premature to say that blood type has any clear relationship to risk. Now, if this does turn out to be accurate, the only real application might be to help doctors classify levels of risk in hospitalized patients. Back to you. Always Every, important to know your source. It absolutely is, but we would hope that no one would feel like they could be more risky because they didn't feel like their blood type was exactly. necessarily at risk. That would be really tough, yeah. All right, Doc, thanks for keeping...